Sergio Studios. Extra. Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Sergio Dominguez with another animation look through, and this time it's one of my Sergio Studios cartoons, Backswell Talent Agent. So let's get started. Ah, so this, I really do love this cartoon. It's one of my personal favorites. And man, this took five years to make on and off. But I'm glad to happily show you. I have the original animation files. So I can show you a little bit of breakdowns and certain behind the scenes things that happen within this uh, very special cartoon. So this is the Baxwell Town Agent design and final uh, puppet rig. Now the, the drawings that you see, obviously um, they were from, that you can see in the arc look through through the Sergio Studios cartoons, this drawing in the back. The reason why it's here is because um, their reference and uh, helping me guide and set up uh, this character in puppet digital form and I uh, see it's pretty helpful. And also before I started the cartoon I did uh, certain locations because since this is a Sergio Studios cartoon obviously I have to draw a lot of things from scratch like the main character and certain settings since this takes place in other locations with completely different characters from scratch. So I did have to make certain locations. There's Hollywood, the animated version of Hollywood, Baxwell's uh, <laughs> bedroom, the design of the customer, the client here. Back here is the design of him that I just redrew digitally. Hit Baxwell's office. Oh, this one's special. Now, before I animated, I wanted to get uh, his character down a little bit more. So what I did was I made a uh, animation cycle. I'm going to show it to you right now how he walks. I really do like this walk cycle. It's a very nice walk cycle. I'm glad I can finally share it with you guys because this never um, was never part of the final cut of the cartoon. Uh, I just want to get his look down on how he walks. He looked very sharp. Uh, obviously, I want him. I want him to move his uh, shoulders. Uh, you know, back and forth. And I wondered how it looked and I was trying to figure it out. And yeah, it looks really good. You know, his arms are stiff. Uh, there would be more movement in the arms, but I was just trying to just figure out the shoulders and how he takes a step. But it's very good walk cycle. I like how it looks. And it's unfortunately that I never got to do it in the short, but I, uh, you can see it here. <laughs> this is his office in this angle. This is inside the limo. Uh, yeah, like I said, I'm very proud of this cartoon. It came out really well. The animation and posing and character and effects. Well, there's one effect I'm going to bring up later that I couldn't f really figure out, but uh, we'll get to it. This is the road because I had plans for, for an effect, and this was one of the images. Same thing with here, but um, yeah, I, I couldn't get to it, but we'll get to it. I'm trying to fully realize the effect, but yeah, there's an explosion here behind a green screen for here. But uh, let me get to here's the bad guy, uh, Harmroid, and this is his little creature sidekick pet. I didn't want it to be a cat or a bunny, so I just combined the two with another creature, I think a frog. So that's why it looks like that. <laughs> uh, it looks nice though. His monologue about Hollywood and the Hollywood sign. Uh, Baxwell talent agent. I want the, the letters obviously to appear and have the nice shine across You can see the color the color change effect to like nothing Now I want to go from that to, uh, The title like opening like a door like you see here. So when I did the title I exported the frame as a uh, digital image then brought it to here then I masked each point and just um, yeah, I animate it. Yeah, so there was, uh, when I took the digital image of, um, yeah, so, yeah, no, it's coming to me. I almost forgot, but I remember, yeah. Each piece of the title had its own mask, and the mask was like shape of the door, and then I animated it, you know, moving the way it moves. So yeah, each one is a still image copy of the title with a mask over it to give it that shape and I just animated it opening it and then when it edited together it looks seamless the title and then it opens if you've seen the cartoon you understand what I'm talking about and this one is a still image of this sh upcoming shot so when I set up this shot 
I was like, okay, let me take a still image of this frame, bring it here, bring it up to here, so so it can continue. So again, it, it blends together perfectly in editing. A lot of creative ways to get around all this. I want this cartoon since this character was a secret agent that lived his life like a Hollywood agent. I wanted him to have, you know, really advanced gadgets, but still be very, very comical. So with the bed and the way he gets up in in the morning, gets ready for his work day. <laughs> I like that bed thing. And the next shot I really like too. It's just a shot where he's sliding down and he's up to the camera. Oh, <laughs> very nice. I don't want him to brush his teeth. He just has like like spray. There we go. His clothes, he just swooshes into them. Uh, this one's nice too. Instead of him eating, I just want him to have his food, breakfast, lunch, and dinner like beamed into him through light rays. So that's what I was doing. The machine had it set up. It's set to breakfast, as you can see. And then he goes through the door and falls in and it's ready to start the day pretty much. What? Welcome to Maxwell Agency. How can I make you famous today? Oh man. The thing I also want to bring up is the, the gradient. His hair, the tips of his hair blend into the chair. I didn't figure out the gradient on this. But it's alright. You, you'll see his hair a lot more often. So that's fine. And here are with this character. Uh, I think I called him. I don't know what I called him. I forgot now. But he's, you know, a client who's this nerdy kid, but he's talented. Oh, that sounds familiar. <laughs> but very meek and comical. But talented, too. Now, I don't know if you heard my commentary for this cartoon, but this character is inspired by a lot of fictional characters that I loved growing up in the 90s. With the angular shape and his drastic posing, the way he he carries himself and his performance, where he talks a little bit more excited. So when I was gonna animate this character, I knew for him to be over animated with the form of animation that I have, a keyframe puppet animation, it would be just dr drastic sharp poses. Like he goes from here to here, and I do like it. He's holding onto the chair. If you can see through the gradient, darn it! But through the gradient, you can see it, and. He's just talking and going from pose to pose. You can see a lot of drastic, comical, energetic poses. It has He has a lot of character to him. Very energetic, passionate about his job and his work. And I like how it really came out. While the character he's talking to is just so stiff and simple. <laughs> he's like, shh, no, don't worry. Yeah, very good. I, I'm very happy with the way he was animated in this in this cartoon. He's very simply animated. There was a lot more things going on with this cartoon that I ended up cutting. Like he was going to have a robot assistant and there was going to be a couple montages before we get to the, the acting part. But no, I cut that out for time because it was getting too long. And I didn't want to, and I've been working on it on and off for five years. But I do like his design at Baxwell Town Agent and the character he is in this one. So it's well done. <laughs> boom, boom. Very good. Very expressive. And I really wanted to keep his angularity without really redrawing it that much unless I need to. But very good. So in this shot, you know, he's being told, of what, why do you do this? Who are you really? So he just walks up, takes off his glasses. <laughs> his eyes are the sh same shape of his sunglasses. I love that gag. And it's still true to the character. And he's still expressive with his dilated pupils and stuff. Yeah, that's good. I like this part because here is going to start acting his heart out. And there's just a light coming out of nowhere. <laughs> um, oh yeah, this is one whole shot. But then when I was done animating this shot and the next shot I'm going to show you. Um, they, they cut together in post. So I take this whole thing, cut it in post. I cut this to this because while he's acting and he's surprised and amazed, he, his eyebrow goes boink 
Boink. Boink. That's a good gag. I like that. So it cuts back and forth, but I just animated each of them in their own section and just cut it in post. And that worked beautifully. All right. So here's what I was talking about earlier when it comes to effects. Originally, I think I said this also in the commentary, I wanted to make a uh, limo made out of black foam board, which I ultimately did. And I wanted to put it behind a green screen and just be live action footage over this animation footage. But um, it didn't look good. The key green screen didn't work and the, the limo didn't look good. Well, the way that it was shot. So I just ended up doing like a couple of still images of this limo in a green screen, removed the green, brought it into Tomb Boom and animated like that using keyframes. So I had to keyframe animate a still image of the keyed out limo in this shot. Now we're going to into the limo through this still image into the thing. So there was a, a transition effect that worked for, for that to happen. And it came out well, really well. I still love his pose, like, huh, 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 huh. Got a lot of arm work for this character, and I love it. I also do like the shape of his hands. He has square fingers kind of thing. It's an art style that I grew up in in the 90s and 2000s. That I love that I put into this character. Some static. This character looks like a TV screen, but yeah, it's he is animated in this whole shot. So he's small, but he's in this evil lair that I'm trying to put. That he's, this is me trying to pull off this like televised like <laughs> message, even though he's in the thing and just masked into it. Man, I love the way he just gets the attention. Well, yep, turns around and goes like, there we go. <laughs> His poses are great. I love Maxwell Talon Agent. Uh, sometimes I want to do more with this character, but I have other things to do, but I'm glad I got this one short this one short Took so long and it was so painful to make oh That after I finished it. I was like no no After I was like no this he's gonna have one short and done because I can't deal with him <laughs> and He's too damn ambitious even though I love the character so much you know, I don't get any fans at this recording if they like Baxwell Talent Agent because I do have more ideas. But I have the Sergio show and a couple other characters, so uh, we'll see in the future. So I'm looking through this animation, nothing special to show you. Maybe this part. He turns over and I did a swoosh effect and I just got a separate layer and just drew, drew the, the blur, which is just the gradient outlines. I want to simplify the, the motion blur while... He's also being in here, you know, for the shot. But I like this again with the posing. It's like, yeah, come on. Come on. You and me. <laughs> ah, the finger down thing. I think I got the hand pose wrong in this one, but still is very effective. Very good. Ah, uh, the seatbelt one. I know, I realize they are not wearing seat... Oh, I, yeah, I was animating this, and I realized these characters don't have seatbelts on. So let me animate him just putting on seatbelts for safety reasons, because it's about to get intense. Here we go. And here's another example. This is the same live-action limo, but still image and brought into Tomb Boom, and just animated like the way that it is. <laughs> Boom. This came out well. Also because a lot of it's staying still. It's just this is moving, giving the illusion of uh, the car driving down and the clouds moving in the background. But this is a very simple effect, but it came out really well. <laughs> Boom. Boom. <laughs> There's like landmines hidden in the thing. Oh, I don't get it, but I love it. Oh, they stumble across something. Boom. And it's spinning in the thing. <laughs> oh. The, uh, there was a point where I added an extra line here. You, you can tell it was edited in. Oh, so I'm a driver. Oh. But this is also a funny effect. A lot of funny moments in this. 
All right, this is the drawing of Maxwell Studios because that's when I drew it in for the first time. So here's Maxwell Studios. What's going to happen? Oh, oh. Oh, a little bit went through it. Oh. Oh, hold on. Give me a minute with this one. I need a drink of water while I talk about this. This shot. Ah. Uh. So this shot. Man. So this shot. I've said this in the commentary. I want to say it here. So this shot. Out of all the shots. This took a whole day to do. Not because it was difficult to animate. But because it kept crashing so many times. I don't know what was going on with my laptop back then. But this simple 10 second shot was difficult to animate just because there were moments where it would crash so often. It had layers of mask and, and images and stuff. So I, I can get it. But it's a simple shot of, of this. Boom. Out here. He comes up. You see? That, that, that's it. But it was so much for the computer that it crashed so often during just the animation of this one shot that I ended up just doing this shot in one day when it shouldn't have. It shouldn't have taken a day. But it but it did. It took an animated day to make this. Oh. Man. So I'm still sore about that. Looking through. All like this. Like, oh, there's the office. There's the office. Oh, no. That's pretty. <laughs> that's <a> dangerous. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Grappling hook. Very nice. Onto the wall. Yeah, this was a, a surprisingly complicated shot, too, but it didn't take long. Where it was? Was it this one? No, this is a door closing. Sometimes animating door closing is tough. So, because you would think it'd be like a pose here, pose here, but no, it would take a weird shape when you get to the middle of it. So, I did have to control a little bit and switch door drawings, apparently. So, that that's weird. That's weird and nuts. Here comes the fun, fun shot. Them going through the traps, which fume. <laughs> Very stiff, but it still looks like fun. Ooh, oh, the camera got a little jittery there. Oh, but don't all action movies have jittery camera movements? Come on. Then a nice whooshing shot of the two. No, his career's over. Oh, man, that's that's a good shot. He's like, oh, come on. You want to let him in? He's fashionably late. Uh, that, that was fun, too. And he gets a little emotional, even though the character can never frown. Uh, and there you go. That's it. That's the animation look through through. Baxwell Talent Agent. Man, it was a lot of fun making this cartoon. I had fond memories, but it was tough. And I made it during a really tough time in my life, actually. Uh, personally and professionally. But it came out really well. And I'm glad I got this short off my back after... Creating the character back in 2009 and then on and off working on the short storyboarding and preparing it. But seeing this folder in my face and my desktop for so long yeah, and for my computer. So I was like, okay, I got to make this. So all in early 2015, I just did it. And there we go. It's history. And I'm very happy. I love the character. I love the way I animated him. Maybe I'll do more. Maybe not. I, I do want to know in the comments down below if. You want more from this character or not? But, uh, you know, let me know. But I, I love the one-off. If I could do more, I can. Um, possibly. But for now, very good job. I love it. And I love looking through this. And I'm glad I still have the animation files for it. And I hope you enjoyed looking through this animation look-through of Baxwell Talent Agent. Thank you very much for watching. Questions, comments down below. Follow me on social media. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And thank you again. I am Sergio Dominguez saying have an animated day.